walk us through what happened on that goal. I mean, Allie just served the perfect ball. I mean, I don't think I was marked very well. I mean, I probably wouldn't have marked me either, so I can't blame them for that. Um, Allie played the ball in. I just tried to get it on goal, and it happened to go in. I actually didn't know it went in until I saw Sinead's face and then realized it was in. So that, that's, that's as much as I can remember. Have you ever done that before? Absolutely. I don't even think. I was saying I don't think I've scored a goal in practice. Maybe messing around with Kruger and Nadine, but probably not for real. Where did it hit you on your head? Uh, Solid on the forehead, I think. Yeah, I just tried to get it on goal. You launched yourself out of it. Yeah, that's what I hear. I mean, the diving part's not an abnormal for me. It's just the not using my hands part. So, which is more important, scoring a goal or when you let the goal in? Which is going to bug you or celebrate more? I'm going to celebrate the goal right now because we walk away with the point, but I'm always going to be upset giving up a goal. You know, I was getting the roses at the end. I wish it was for a shutout. But point's a point. We're going to take it, and we're going to move on from there. That is the second point you saved for the team in a row after the PK Houston last week. I mean, you're just you're on fire right now. What can you say about that? I mean, I don't think it's one person ever. You know, win or lose, I don't think it's ever one person. So I've finished the goal tonight, which is absurd. But Allie played a great ball, you know, and the team worked and worked and worked. And to not concede another goal when we get a red card, I mean, that was an insane game. So for us to keep it one nothing at that point and then, you know, allow that goal to mean something, I mean, that's a team effort, and it's been a team effort throughout. But do you feel like you're at a different level now? We've, we've talked a lot about the goalies, the goalies that you've backed up. Do you, do you feel like you're in right now? I feel in a good place. I mean, I've played with some great goalkeepers. I have a ton of respect for a bunch of goalkeepers throughout the league, but I feel in a personal good place. I think I'm in the best place I've been. Um, I'm going to keep learning. I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to do some great things. And I'm going to do not some great things. You know, that's part of the process, but I feel in a great place. I'm very confident. Not my goal scoring abilities, but that just happened to happen today. What, what did happen on the goal? Did you collide with Rachel? I don't, you know, I thought, uh, what's her face got me? Sorry, that's disrespectful. Um, Hagen, sorry, I got hit pretty hard. I'm a little out of it. But I thought Hagen got me. I mean, I was just coming for the ball. Um, I was going for the ball, and then I was blocked and on the ground. I thought Hagen got me. Um, I couldn't really see the replay. I was trying not to pay attention to it, but um, maybe it was Rach just doing her job and marking it. I mean, it was a good ball in. Those balls are tricky because they're dipping in, they're diving in, and a keeper has to make decision to come or go, and once I, or come or stay. So by the time I came, I had to go through it, and I mean, I thought she got me, but maybe she didn't. I would have to rewatch it. And you also had a sort of an unusual coming back toward the goal save. Um, I, I noted that you were had careful in your hands not to punch it into your own back. Can you describe that? And have you have done, done that before? Uh, I don't know. That, I mean, probably in practice. You know, you're. I mean. It's weird because you work on technique, you work on all these things, but at the end of the day, you're just trying to make saves and keep the ball out of the back of the net. So, Groom got in, and I felt like I needed to make a play on her because she was coming in fast and. Uh, the defenders were getting behind me, but they weren't going to get to her, so I felt like I needed to make a play, at least force her to go wide. That worked out, and then I was recovering. She happened to play the, the cross in, and I just tried to make sure I didn't... Yeah, I don't know what it looks like. I just was trying to keep it out of the net. On your goal, who, who made the call for you to go forward? Was that coming from the bench, or were your teammates calling you? Uh, Paul. I mean, I will, I'm always kind of, you know, I want us to win. I want us to tie, I want us to get points, and, you know, if I feel like I can do something, you know, I'm always on the edge of that, and Paul waved me forward, and I didn't hesitate, so, I mean, it worked out this time. And how important is this momentum? I mean, the team has gone seven games now without a win, but what can you guys take from this that you can push into the next game to really turn the, this tide around? I mean, I think, I mean, I think there were some good chances. I think there are some, you know, we didn't make her, Barney make too many saves, but Cat. I mean, Allie played two great balls to Cat. I thought, you know, maybe a different day Cat finishes, and you know, I thought we we're creating chances, we're doing good things. You know, it's frustrating to not see the points, and you know, to not feel like we're producing like we want to. But at the end of the day, like we're slowly getting points, we're working our way up, and we're just going to keep doing our best and hope we finish our chances soon. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, guys. Thank you.